Hello everyone and welcome back to Polly's Pretties. This is Tuesday, May 30th. So we are going to go ahead and do my end of the month of May coloring and finished projects list. Um, I got a good bit done this month, uh, not quite as much as coloring, as much as other things. But I do want to uh, show you guys a few pictures I did do and then we can move on to other things. So I did a lot of loose ones this month. Um, I was trying to promote a few artists that are out there. As I go through them, I'll tell you who they are and where I found them. Uh, so this is the first one, and this is called from 880 Cute Unicorns by Raspi, R-A-S-P-I-E-E. -E. Um, they are found through Instagram, and I just colored their image, obviously. I'm not the artist, I'm the colorist. I used Bic and Asia markers, Distress inks for the scattered straw look around her, the yellow. Um, and that was that one. All right, next we have a cute monster. This is again a raspy one. And this is from 60 Adorable Monsters. I used my Crayola Super Tip markers and purple chalk on this guy. I thought he was rather cute. Next we have a page by Lana Green, and this is Miss Xenia Dark, and she can be found on Etsy. And I use Crayola markers and my ink cubes to do her. Um, this one was a lot of fun. I actually did her on a video, and I showed how I took my inks and, and blended in instead of actually using markers and stuff. The next one is by Raspy as well. This is a 60 cute animals. At first I thought this guy was a dog, so I'm sorry. But it is a sloth. Um, and I used Crayola markers to do this one. I think it turned out kind of cute. The next one I have is another Lana Green art one. Again, on Etsy. This is called Morning Dew Dark. And I used Crayola markers for it. The next one... Whoopsie, if I don't bend it all to tootie -looty. It's 56 Cute Unicorns by Raspy. And I used Bic and Stedler markers on this one. And I know it's a bit of a change. I usually do white unicorns, but this this one just, yeah. It, it needed to be that color. It was that day. <laughs> okay. And then we're moving to a couple newer ones. And I actually love doing these pages. I love the other ones too, but, but I love these ones. This is just called Unicorn. It is from Katiba, I think is how you would say it. K-H-A-T-I-B-A Press. And I just used my Crayola markers on it. Again, here's our pretty white unicorn. So yes, I haven't forgotten that they're white. <laughs> and then the last loose one that I have is by the artist Joshua Dunbar. And this is from his Island Cuties, and this is the Mer Puppy. I really love doing this one. Of course, I, I'm, I don't know anything with dogs right now. This was done with Crayola markers, if anybody would like to know. So I really enjoyed that one. I'd, I'd love to find a bunch of his books and be able to get them before they go crazy with prices. Okay, the next thing I have for you is from the books. I did do a few in them. Matchstick Mouse, I tried not to overdo because I love this book and I wanted to last. Um, so this is Matchstick Mouse, a springtime coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. Our front cover looks like this. And this is our back cover. And I did this little page right here. Oops, let me get it turned right there. I'm sorry. I thought it was absolutely adorable. I, I don't know why. I'm so, like, loving this book. And I used Bic and, Azure and, Bic, Azure and Crayola markers for this. And the part that looks like water is because I took the Crayola markers and used them like watercolor. But that is that cute picture. I, lo I love that book. I hope that it never runs out. <laughs> the next one is 50 Spring Miniatures Coloring Book. And our front looks like this. And our back looks like this. And I've done two pages in here. Uh, if I can get it to work right. Okay, the first one is this beautiful page. Lots of color. Okay, and that one I used... In oranges, 36 color dual tip brush pens. Okay, and then 
The next one is on further back, obviously. Let me go ahead and get it out here to you. And the next one was a challenge page. Okay, so the next one I did was this one here. And it was done with Derwent Academy colored pencils. And this was for hashtag AC palette challenge posted by Amanda Colors on Instagram. And then the last page that I have for you is from 50 Spring Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. Uh, the book looks like this. This is a beautiful book, too. Um, the back looks like this. Another book that I would like to last for a good while. And I got really happy, and I kind of got green over gone. Um, but here's the page. It's, it's really green. I tried to use different shades, though, to try to kind of um, show off the areas. This was done using Zebra Mechanical Pencils and SKK Stationery Color Pencils. It is hashtag good luck symbol and it is hashtag May Scavenger Hunt and it was hosted by Colorful Dreamer82 on Instagram. And that is my coloring book pages for the month. I also did seven, seven or eight two page layouts. Um, in my new scrapbook, uh, it's not new, but it's the new one. It's the last one till I get to go out and get another one. Um, but yes, I did do a lot of, as you see, printouts this month. Um, some of these have been printed way before some of these were printed this month. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is how that went. And then, like I said, I did like seven or eight two page layouts on the scrapbook. Wait, I also showed, shush. I also showed how to do um, different types of embellishments on the channel here if you watched lives or videos. And I also have shown swap mail for my group, Polly's Pretties. And I also uh, have put up new swaps for obviously June. So I've been rather busy. I mean, getting, you know, my hands in there, getting, getting stuff done. Um, of course, it's liable to change just depending on the month, depending on how I feel, uh, and everything else that goes on. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't very many coloring pages, but I do hope you liked what you saw. And please keep checking back. I'm going to try to make sure there's videos up at least a few times a week, as well as doing the two regular scheduled live streams I do. And hopefully I can bring to you some more artists as we go through summer but i thank you for watching and spending a little bit of your day with me again i hope you enjoyed what i showed remember my friends you are beautiful you are amazing and you are loved if anyone says different it's a falsehood please please pay it forward when you can you don't know when you might need it back be nice be kind it does not hurt and everybody is going through something at this point in life kind word could make their day better stay safe the world's crazy enough let's let's just not add to that crazy let's bring it back calm let's get it settled down let's live in harmony i know that sounds like a lot to ask and it is it is but let's try until next time thank you again